And Andy, can you imagine what it must be like for the deputy's family? For them, everything changed in the blink of an eye. And tonight, what they want is justice. He was a good cop. He was proud to wear that badge. He was tough as nails. 51-year-old Harris County Deputy Darren Almondaris never backed down. He never gave up. Take high school. He wound up dropping out, but he went back and uh, he graduated at the age, I believe, of 21. That's the deputy's younger uh, brother, too torn up to put his face on TV less than a day after Darren's death. Investigators say the deputy was killed over a stolen catalytic converter. The deputy had 11 siblings, and they want you to know a few things. He grew up in a tough life. He did. He, he was very ambitious, outgoing. He wanted to do things his way. He left because um, it was kind of rough. He went out and got him a job at Whataburger when he was about 15, I believe. That work ethic, that drive to do better and be better, Deputy Darren Almendares brought that to his job. He brought that to his family, and they want justice. These three guys that took my brother's life are going to pay for it. The Almendares family feels strongly about something else. They want a change in the law making it illegal to sell used catalytic converters. We're live on the northeast side tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News.